Yun! Boom! Kamusta naman kayo dyan, mga kameta, on YouTube, on, eto, on, on, on Facebook, of course. Today, pag-usapan natin ang mga other things, of course. etong Lenny. Lenny! Lenny! <laughs> yung mga natitrigger na naman dyan, yung mga troll factories dyan. Troll farms. Ayan. Medyo na-trigger na sila. Lenny! Lenny! Ayan. Nag-speech si Lenny, of course, sa Harvard. Mga kameta, meron siyang speech dyan sa Harvard. Uh, pag-usapan natin yan. Harvard, Harvard. Of course, alam niyo yung isa sa mga anak niya, nag-graduate na dun sa Harvard Kennedy School. So, kind of like the mommy now is coming there. Yung kanyang, of course, uh, you know, uh, dating, I mean, si Jesse Robredo, dating DLG secretary and longtime mayor, also graduate of Kennedy School. And then, of course, uh, yung isa naman yung anak ni Ma'am Lenny naman, nag-aaral din sa, nag-aaral sa, <laughs> sa Harvard. Um... For I think her masters in medical sciences, no. So, medyo nagiging suki na ang mga Lenny family, no. mga Robredos dyan sa Harvard University, which is just one of the best schools on earth, right? Although this year, mukhang Oxford University nag top naman ng mga rankings. All right, all right, na mga kameta, kamusta naman kayo dyan? Pag-usapan natin yan. And of course, perhaps we ha- have to have a more extensive discussion on that, but I'll shortly cover this because my class pa ako. Medyo grabe yung traffic kanina so hindi ko nagawa to na mas maga. So priorities have to, sorry, go to my class later on. Um, so let's focus muna more on the Lenny issue and then we'll transition quite quickly dun sa issue ng, well, due process, no? In light of, of course, everyone knows what we're talking about here, no? Uh, na dapat walang double standard pagdating sa application of law among other things uh, when it's, uh, you know, it has something to do with high-level officials among others. No, pag-usapan natin yan. Uh, but we'll have a more in-detail meta, mga meta, no? Uh, in terms of analysis ng rule of law problem or crisis dito sa Pilipinas. We're gonna look at the numbers. We're gonna look at the numbers in terms of uh, number of courts uh, in the country relative to the population, number of people in jail, pre-trial detainees, budget for the judiciary, for instance, the number of the caseload of judges in the Philippines. The numbers are among the worst on earth, right? Which tells you a lot about bakit justice delayed and justice denied in many cases in the, in the Philippines and bakit nawawala ng pag-asang maraming tao dun sa ating uh, justice system and many see it as an injustice system, no? So, dapat pag-usapan natin ang mabuti yan. And in order to do that, of course, we have to show numbers and data. Alam niyo na mga kameta, we always work with data, with numbers, with research. Hindi tayo bara-bara dito, hindi tayo pakit lang dito. Although, di natin kasalanan kung medyo fuego tayo minsan, di ba? Hindi naman minsan more than minsan. Um, kasi minsan med- medyo pagod talaga yung tura, obviously. Um, so, let me go first to Ma'am Lenny. Lenny! Lenny! Sino presidente? Uh, Vice Presidente! Ba't wala na kumakanta yan, mga kameta? Bentang-benta yan nung summer, ha? Sino Presidente? Tapos biglang may Andrew E naman. Ano? Tsar! Duterte! <laughs> ayan, ayan tayo. Sana all na naman tayo. Diyan! Sana all. Next time tayo mag-Mandarin Meta. Mandarin Meta. Okay. Pag-usapan mo natin si Ma'am. Sorry, windan ko sa traffic. Na-stress ako dun sa traffic, eh. Ang init-init, my goodness, mag, mag November, December na, ang init pa rin. Talagang uminit na ulo ka, grabe yung traffic. Ngayon pa tayo, sabulin natin to sabi ko. Pero safe pa rin dapat tayo mag-drive. Yan, yan tayo dyan. Wala naman tayong driver, di naman tayo rich kids. Katulad ng iba dyan. So ito, happy happy si Ma'am Lenny. First of all, let me say this, guys. Ha. I'm happy for former, former... Ito, uh, let me be very clear. For former Vice President Lenny Robredo, who, by the way, no longer holds any official office. So, dun sa mga henyo na binabash si Lenny na nasan si Lenny, nasaan ang pag-iisip nyo? Okay? I'm, I'm being nice. I could have been more mean. Pero nasaan ang... <laughs> diba? As if... Not naman that I expect much from these people. I'm siyempre cottage industry ng mga troll factories, troll farms. Pero wag naman kayo nasaan ang Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Koya, te, hindi na po siya opisyales, okay? And by the way, nag-reply si Ma'am Lenny uh, Na even though hindi na siya opisyales Yung kanyang, of course, um, well, 
civil society groups, ang at buhay, uh, NGOs, uh, and you know affiliates have been doing their best to help you know ating kababayan. Not only during crisis, humanitarian crisis, natural calamities, but also in quote unquote normal times, including dun sa edukasyon na ating mga kabataan. So first of all, I'm very happy to see someone who has been so unfairly treated in our country, who has been besmirched, who has been denigrated. Uh, sobrang bastos yung ibang trolls. My goodness, I mean, they're worse than trolls. I mean, there's something, there's a, there's a word for that, right? And I'm not gonna go there. So after getting all of those negative, really toxic um, attacks in the Philippines, and unfortunately, mohang medyo nagwork yan with a lot of ating mga kababayan who perhaps did not spend enough time to do a proper research on ano ba talang ginawa ng vice president, what are the circumstances, and I think a lot of people were just so pro tatay or whatever. They automatically just wanted to hate her, no? Because she wanted to be, she was kind of the voice of reason, at least on the war on drugs to a certain degree, right? So I'm, I'm just glad to see that a, a person na who has a good heart, who has tried their best to serve the country, is getting the kind of uh, respite and the kind of recognition and, and some sort of a chill time, no? That she needs and also some opportunity for intellectual exercise, hindi lang political exercise. Now, of course, to be absolutely clear, I'm, I'm no fan of any politician in this country. I like some more than the other for some reason, but I have criticized all statesmen and politicians in this country, including the former vice president. I felt in terms of strategy, in terms of communication, in terms of timing, a lot of issues. My mga pakakulang kanyang team. I thought many times she should have been more assertive, more aggressive, more preemptive. Yeah, but tapos na elections. Now, she's a former vice president. And, you know, despite my criticisms of her performance, sometimes that I always, said she, I always thought she could do better. She could step up to the plate. She could go to the next level. She could tell dun sa mga kanyang supporters na iba dyan, wag kayong mag-elitista, wag kayong mag, let me educate you, wag kayong mag, uh, you know, filingero, etc. I just felt there were times na medyo kapos. But nonetheless, I don't think she ever, 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 all right, she ever deserved the kind of denigration and, and, and campaign of besmirching uh, that she has been subjected to over the past few years. Sobrang grave. No? Sabi nga nila, sabi ng mga troll people, if you can't beat them, smear them. Right? So it was clearly a smear campaign, a horrible smear campaign. Pero doon naman sa mga nag-iisip sa buhay, yung mga respetadong tao, mga respectable institutions, world-class institutions, they saw what's going on. They know what's going on. They know the caliber and quality of Vice President Lenny, former Vice President Lenny Roberto's leadership. They see her intentions, despite all her imperfections, right? Uh, you know, I, I naiirita din ako dun sa iba na parang they treat politicians in this country as if kung sino sila. No, no, no. If, our, if our leaders were really good, we wouldn't have been this kind of third world, fourth world situation right now, right? So let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? But some of our leaders were better than the others, and definitely people like Lenny Robredo did not, did not deserve the kind of negative treatment, the, com the smear campaign they got here, you know? So I, 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 that really was... was for me, nakakalungkot. Para sa ating bansa. No? This is not partisan at all. Again, uh, on the record, I've criticized her campaign. I've criticized, you know, all sides. No, Some sides more than the others kasi mas palpak sila. Kasalanan ko ba na mas palpak sila? I have to point it out, right? Don't, you know, don't blame the messenger, right? No, but it, for me lang, for, as, as a human being, looking at another human being who has been subjected to so much stress and all, I see that smile, right? I, dis I see that smile. I feel good for that person. I feel... Finally, she is getting some sort of respite. You know, she, she's a single mom. She has been dealing with so much stress, difficulties, etc. And finally, ayan, my first day of school, Sha. And of course, some pictures have come out. You know, actually, there's a footage. I saw it on YouTube. Uh, uh, yung lecture is actually their intensive lecture. Da. Okay, talagang intensive, no? So obviously, I think her first lecture was more introductory about what she's doing, what's happening in the country. Uh, so some of the pictures came out. And then, of course, some of the trolls. <laughs> Ayan, na na yung mga nitpick. Eh, da, 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 let me say this, ah. Uh. Let me give an advice, a piece of advice to the trolls. Kung manglahit kayo ng ibang tao na naka-graduate na, abogado na, nag-aaral sa UP School of Economics, uh, nagiging guest lecturer sa Harvard University, siguraduhin nyo yung amo nyo, medyo, with all the money and everything, medyo, may pangtapat. At yung iba naman troll dyan, kayo mismo, ano mga achievement niyo sa buhay? Bago kayo mang light na ibang tao, make sure may K kayo, alright? Simple lang naman yung sinasabi ko eh. Sigurado lang mag K kayo. So kaya, 
confounded ako din sa mga attacks kay, kay Len. Of course, I'm not confounded. I know it's, it's just a smear campaign. But still, parang, parang, sana naman, di ba? Sana naman kung magyabang ka, may pakita kang kay, di ba? Or at least yung amo mo, di ba? Ayan tayo eh. Anyway, so, ito. Ito, 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 ito. So, may mga, may mga trolls dito. May mga troll farms. Ginawang issue to na si Lenny, uh, may quotation sa sarili niya. Or, <laughs> ito talaga eh. Ito talaga, naghahanap talaga sila eh. Like, talaga nakatutok sila eh. Uy, ano, ano, ito, 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 kunin natin ah. Tawag, tawag sila. Tawag. Pare, pare, dito na kayo, dito na may may ginawa si Lenny. Ano natin, meme natin. Eh, talaga may troll farm operation for sure dyan, di ba? Uy, ito, 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 ito. Talagang hihintay nila. No? Eh, sa akin na nga eh, like, of millions of posts I made, may typo lang yung isa or dalawa or whatever, or may, may misspeaking with the speed of my speaking. Ginawang malaking issue yan. Tapos ako naman parang, wait lang, tignan nga natin ano yung speech ng ano niya, tatay nyo nga eh, mag one sentence lang. Ayan tayo eh. <laughs> Ayan tayo. Yun nga yung point ko eh. Kung gusto niyo mag-intellectual light, make sure may K kayo sa buhay. Eh, H-index na nga nung ano niyo, vlogger niyo, zero eh. Alright? Oh, ay <laughs> diyan, okay. Okay, Google niya kung hindi alam ibig sabihin niyan. All right, anyway, ginawa malaking issue 'yan na kinot ang sarili. Pero come on, guys. Don't be like that. Hindi naman ito I think that was to self plagiarism or whatever. She was just referring to what she said in the past, right? To, for a point of discussion. Ah, uh, 'yun lang siguro. Dahil marami kang trolls, dapat ingat kayo siguro diyan. Sige, lesson learned. Hindi rin ako mag-post ng sarili kong quotes. <laughs> like, Hidarian said, parang, sabi ni Hidarian nung 2022 na, ah, na, ginagawa ko yan, but medyo mas subtle. Kasi marami kong trolls din eh. Pero thanks pala sa mga trolls, ha. Lumalaki yung mga engagements natin. Alright. Balikan natin yan. So, ito yung, ano, yung quote sa sarili niya na you do not lose sight of what you believe in. You do not lose sight of the goal. You drown out the voices because there are bigger battles to fight. Yo, no? Maganda naman yung sinabi ni ma'am eh. Maganda naman sinabi ni ma'am. Siyempre, leadership, ano yan, lectures yan. So, kahit gusto ma-inspire yung mga future leaders, emerging leaders na nag-aaral dyan sa Kennedy School, no? Uh, na, na, na Not to be na hindi sila madismaya sa mga haters, sa mga trolls, sa mga Kim Jong-un, sa mga ano, hindi na graduate. Ayan. Okay, okay. Pero, oh guys, don't worry. Hindi ako magsasight din ng sarili ko. Masyado pag lectures ko. In 2020, hey Darian argued. Yung mga ganyan. <laughs> Doon sa mga predictions ko na tumama na naman. Kay, ano, tatay among others. Okay, okay. Ayan na naman tayo. Now, those are lectures, of course, there's also discussion of the good governance initiatives of the former vice president and some of the things that she continues to do even though she's no longer in office. So, dito na hinan natin na, of course, Lenny Robredo, uh, yung kanyang angat buhay, no? yung kanyang angat buhay efforts, uh, yung efforts, bakit parang naging purple na hindi na pink? Parang naging metacolor na siya. Right, yung mga efforts na ng angat buhay na to help the government to deal with different kinds of crises here and there, even though walana siya sa power, even though marami siyang uh, you know limitations in terms of resources, even when uh, Lenny Robredo was the vice president, she still had a lot of limitations. No, uh, she was very marginalized. She was attacked by two major camps and dynasties. Her budget was limited. Eh, eh, and laki laki ng confidential funds parang ano eh. Ano na? Alam na this. Alam na this. Alam na this. Now, again guys, you're free to check yung full lecture ni Ma'am Lenny. Right? You're free to check yung full lecture ni Ma'am Lenny. Ang akin lang naman, of course, uh, it's, it's, a, it's I think a semester long or a months long program. So, hintayin ba natin yung, uh, I want to see the full arc of her presentation, her discussions, ano yung mga sasabihin niya, ano mga i-discuss niya. Gusto ko sana makita yan guys. Gusto ko sana makita yan. Before I make some final preliminary, final tapos preliminary, no, no, preliminary conclusions uh, or analysis dito sa mga lectures. Because, you know, uh, with all due respect, you know, I, I want to, you know, I mean, I'm giving you due respect, right? Ang sinasabi ko, sige, pakinggan natin. Ang sinasabi, ano? gusto ko malaman anong reflections. Gusto ko malaman anong mga lessons learned. Eh. Because clearly, 
the last elections, the last elections, yan, mga Google Trends! Kamusta mga Google Trends Club dyan? Ang gagaling ng mga Google Trends! Ang lakas mga data scientists, mathematicians, Google Trends. Tapos ngayon, very expert, data scientists, economists, experts, Google Trends. Yan, yung mga Google Trends dyan. Alright. <laughs> Saan tayo magsimula dito? Una-una, you know, ang opposition po ay magiging forever opposition kung ganun kasabog yung kanilang analytics, no? Yung mga Google Trends, Google Trends. Nauna tayo, number one tayo sa Google Trends. Wow, wow, one, two, punch, punch. Yun, yan, ayan mga Google Trends. <laughs> Google Trends, alright, okay, alright. Um, ay nako. Ay nako, ay nako, ay nako. Uh, umamaya, umamaya, wag, ano kayo dyan. Ha? Ang ang sinasabi ko dyan, guys, is pagdating dito, <laughs> how should I say it? Ang hirap eh. Kami minefields dito. Mm. Okay, ganito. There has to be a recognition na may kapalpakan nangyari sa strategy, sa communications, sa analytics, whatever you want to call it. Ah, uh, you know, the ranks of the opposition should be cleansed of, purge of, of yung mga kapalpakan na analysts or experts or whatever, economists, whatever, right? There has to be accountability on that, right? There has to be an accountability to that, all right? I, I, you know, I have to be very honest. I think Lenny Robredo, opposition leaders, activists, progressive in this country, deserve so much more, so much more uh, in terms of getting the best advice, the best political advice, the base, best analytics advice, uh, the best spokesmen uh, or spokeswomen or the best, you know, people, uh, the pundits or people to speak in behalf of them, right? And, and I think my disservice in nangyari kay Lenny Robredo and the opposition uh, in the, you know, in recent times, dahil nga yung mga ano dyan, elitista na nga, sablay pa yung mga analysis na, wala pang mea culpa, wala pang recognition ng kapalpakan ng ginawa nila sa analysis nila and communication sila. My sense is, you know, Lenny... If she had a better team, better communication, she could have done 20 million votes probably. Perhaps their race could have been much, much closer, right? Or the race could have been completely different, right? Uh, but as I said, uh, her loss, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Contrary to what they said to the other people. I don't want to say the name, you know who they are. No, there's nothing. Getting 15 million votes against all odds, going against two massive dynasties teaming up from the north to the south. No, 15 minutes was a lot of vote. Ang sinasabi ko lang, uh, uh, you know, leaders, opposition leaders, progressive leaders, liberal leaders, etc., like like Lenny, they deserve better. They deserve better people to run their communications, to argue in her behalf. And I think at some points, Lenny has to come out and, and, and you know, tell some of these people na, uh, you know, at least gently uh, behind the scenes. You know, is good. And then, you know, <laughs> And the thing is, I want to see in the lectures of Lenny also. I want to see in the lectures of Lenny. Uh, and hindi lang lectures of Lenny. Doon sa pronouncements, discussions, etc. ng opposition among others. I want to see, guys. I want to see some post-mortem serious analysis of what went wrong over the past six years. So much so na sobrang marginalized ng liberal opposition in this country. Right? How did they go from the governing coalition how did they go from the dominant narrative after the collapse of the Marcos dictatorship to such a marginalized, if not, uh, you know, I don't want to use the word hated, but think about our synonyms, no? Um, just the level of anger and frustration of a lot of mga ating mga kababayan against the quote-unquote liberals in this country. That is a wake-up call. That should be a wake-up call. Like, what really went wrong? Where did they lose grip of the narrative, right? Where did they go so wrong in terms of communications and all? And please don't give me this, wala silang budget and all. No, I know for a fact, malaki yung budget ng opposition, alright? They had hundreds of millions of pesos, if not more. And if you don't believe me, look at the PCIJ report on the election expenditure before the formal election even started in terms of just television, mainstream, commercials, etc. And I know for a fact, we're talking about hundreds of millions of pesos of budget here, okay? Okay. Um, Ay nako, ay, ayoko na pumunta dyan. But they had the money. They didn't have as much probably as the other camps. But to say na wala sa budget, that doesn't... I'm sorry. Hindi sila kalyodi, alright? Sila kalyodi, wala talagang budget. Given na yan. 
Pero itong mga yan, meron silang budget, meron silang all. And there were many smart people who were supposed to help and all. But I don't know, sinong napakinggan, etc. So, there has to be really a post-mortem. What went wrong in the past six years and in the last elections na even someone as competent as Lenny Robredo, right, would come in a, in a super distant second. As I said, 15 million, getting 15 million under those conditions, that's no joke. That was That's a lot of votes. That's a lot of votes, right? 15 million. She got more votes as a presidential candidate than a vice presidential candidate, right? Uh, and of course, the population increase and all. But as I said, look at the case of Binay, right? Look at the vote he got in 2010 as vice president. Look at the vote he got as a presidential candidate in 2016. Like, parang one-third bigla. Si Lenny nag-increase pa nga eh. Di ba? So, that means she has a potential. That means she could have done way better. So, what I want to see sana sa lecture, lecture series na. So, I'm not going to judge it based on the first lectures pa lang and all. Uh, I want to see the full arc. Hopefully, a paper comes out, something more substantive, some executive sec, uh, 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 executive summary, etc. We want to see, guys. We want to see. Ano ba talaga? Ano ba talaga? Is there going to be an internal reflection? Is there going to be a honest look in the mirror and say, saan tayo na kamali? Paano natin pwede ayusin ang situation na to? Because that's the only way for the opposition to have a chance to come back. Because if hope lang nila na pumalpak lang si Marcos or magsaself Goal lang naman, own goal yung mga yan. That's not a strategy to win, guys. You're just waiting to get lucky. That's not a strategy. You have to have a, a serious approach, a coherent strategy to fight against misinformation, to fight against disinformation. Iba yun, ha? Yung misinformation ay medyo kasyungan lang. Yung disinformation, talagang troll farms operations yan. Also, to regain the hearts and minds of people, right? To win the war. And please lang, don't give me this thing na Talo lang kami dahil sa disinformation. Hello, my disinformation din sa Latin America. Hello, I showed you the graphs and data that in terms of disinformation, some Latin Americans are actually worse than the Philippines. Brazil, for instance. And yet, Lula got more votes than Bolsonaro because Lula has better strategy on the ground, has better organization on the ground, has better grassroots movement on the ground, has better communications on the ground, has more assertive leadership, right? And forget about Lula. Maybe he'll not win. Right? In the second round. I don't know. But my point is, look at Colombia. Look at Peru. Look at Chile. Ka-age ko nga yung nanalo ng presidente ng Chile ngayon. Mid-30s lang yung guy, di ba? Medyo mas matanda sa akin. But do you get what I'm saying? Alright? Hindi kasing fuego natin, pero ka-age lang natin almost. But that takes to the activist. Naging presidente ngayon ng Chile. Tinalo yung proto-fascist na kalaban. Yung Peru, dating farmer, naging presidente ngayon. Tinalo pa yung anak ng Fujimori na sobrang trapo. Right? In, 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 in... Uh, in Colombia, dating rebelde. Dating, eh, ano nila, NPA nila. Ngayon, presidente nila ngayon. Dahil napakagaling naging mayor, senator, etc. And na ekonomista. Alright? May disinformation, may misinformation din sa mga bansa na yan. So, please stop this, ano ha, this, this pa-excuse, excuse na It is a reason. But to say, wala na tayong magawa and blame it all on disinformation. You have to analyze why are people even to begin with susceptible to disinformation. Baka pumalpak kayo sa educational institutional improvement nyo. Baka pumalpak kayo sa communications nyo. Baka pumalpak kayo dun sa passing for laws against disinformation, misinformation. When you were in power, when you had the majority, when you had the chance, right? There has to be accountability for that. There has to be a recognition of that, right? There has to be a recognition of that, right? So, okay, and medyo umakyat ng ano natin dyan. Umakyat ng ano natin dyan, alright? Okay, and dyan yung mga trolls natin. Hello, mga trolls! My favorite troll is here na naman sa YouTube. Pataas ng, ano, okay. For sure. Uh, ay, nako, yung mga hater natin na, ano, sigurado, ano, mukhang ano yan. <laughs> Alright. So, eto, uh, ed, ed, once again, I'm giving a constructive point here. I hope folks don't take it wrongly. What I'm saying is that for any democracy to work, guys, we need a robust opposition so that there's a balance here. There has to be yin and yang here. And if the opposition can just go, if some in the opposition at this go on just whining and blaming everyone else and blaming voters and not having proper self-reflection and mea culpa moment and proper analysis of what went wrong in the last elections in the past six years, wala, awanen, awanen, gawit pa yun, uwi na tayo, finish na. Ano na yan? Puro sila na lang, yung kabila na naman na nalo dyan. Oh, baka may si Sandro pang ano dyan. Okay. Alright, I just have to be honest. Sorry about you guys. I have to say that. Anyway, I have a class. I have to go to that. Next time na lang yung, ano, yung uh, pag-usapan natin, yung issue ng the rule of law, drug war, etc. 
yun lang, gusto ko lang sana yung sympathy natin, hindi lang sa mga yaman na malaki yung opisyon, sympathy natin for all families, especially the poorest and most marginalized, uh, whenever nasangkot or alleged in sangkot sa droga yung kanilang family member. But, ibang usapan na yan. For today lang sana guys, yun lang, ano na, lampas na 100 days ni, ni Marcos, wala pang Department of Health Secretary, wala pa rin, as far as I know, a clear analysis or uh, admission by the opposition of where they went wrong. I want to see a document, I want to see a press conference, I want to see a webinar, I want to see any sign that these guys are learning a thing or two and willing to improve themselves, right? Because I'm not a fan of Republicans, but in fairness, the Republicans in the U.S., nung na shellacking sila ng, 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 ni Obama nung, nung 2012, by 2013, they had very intense conversations, they had a uh, very, very detailed study dun sa where Republicans went wrong and what they should do. Now, ibang usapan yung what Trump did and all, but I'm saying at least there has to be that first step. And Lenny Robredo as being the de facto leader of the opposition for quite some time, and perhaps still until now, although dapat Riza Hundiveros yan, I think she can make a great contribution in that regard, especially now that she's in this intellectual mode, in this academic environment, and she can make these deep reflections about how to make progressive politics great again in the Philippines. Because yung mga katulad natin na bansa, na daming misinformation, na daming inequality, na daming katrapuhan, na daming political violence, even worse than the Philippines, from Mexico to Peru to Chile, all of these Latin Americans, even Brazil right now, there the progressives and liberals are doing far better than in the Philippines. So maybe it's time to do some proper analysis and learning from these other people. And my suggestion to former Vice President Leandro Bred is probably team up with some of the people. In fact, interestingly, dito sa lecture niya, one person I see in the background, that's a picture of the former Colombian president. Na, uh, so there's, although he's not the progressive one, but, but anyway, so we have the one that I see a Latin American leader in the background, right? Uh, maybe that, that's, that's a sign. Uh, maybe she should go and talk more to the Latin, Latino, our Latino counterparts. And maybe we can learn a thing or two from them in terms of making sure my laban ang, ang progressive sa bansa natin uh, pagdating sa politika against all odds. Because as, as I said, in Colombia, in Peru, in Chile, in Brazil, in Mexico, progressive leftists, they were, they were able to beat the trapos, proto-fascists, uh, you know, you know, pro dictators, whatever. All of these people, pro Pinochet, pro military government in the past, pro Fujimori, lahat yan. Anak ni Fujimori, natalo nila lahat mga yan. Against all odds. So maybe there's a thing to learn or two here. All right, I'll keep it there. Marami salamat. Thank you very much. Let me just say thank you dun sa mga lahat na nagbigay ng support sa atin. Always, always, always appreciate it. It's very, very kind of you. Nasaan ang phone ko? Ilang labas natin phone natin. Again, ha? I mentioned a picture with former vice president, uh, VP of, uh, with president of Ecuador. Yun lang, yun advice ko sa kanya. Speak of which, tweet tayo. Tweet natin yan mga kameta. Tweet natin ito ah. Kasi si Lenny, follower ko yata sa Twitter eh. Hindi yata, she is. So maybe mamasa niya, I think. Okay, i-post ko yan shortly. Alright, thank you very much. Check ko muna dito. Maraming salamat dun sa mga ka-meta natin on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm doing all of this before kasi may class na ako. Mami, wala na akong oras to 
to do to do these things. Mag thank you muna ako John. Thank you very much by the way dun sa mga nagbigay ng stickers and support sa atin sa sa YouTube, sa mga friends natin dito sa uh sa Facebook also. Thank you very much. Uh thank you very much kay um Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan. Okay. Yung troll natin diyan tanggal. Report. Alright. Sorry, troll. Wala ka na. <laughs> block ka na. <laughs> Sige. Gamit ka na ibang account tapos ma-block ka ulit. Ayan. Thank you kay Ma'am Eden Olonan. Thank you kay Mai Victoria Baltazar. Kay Vicky Chan. Lulu Berber Agunoy. Kay Marco Dumal Dumaliang. Senan Makalalad. Ronnie Vitok. Thank you so much. Kay Riz Ani. Kay Chris uh, Manangkil, kay uh, Nikki Kate, kay Noemi Tablati, kay Jonathan Yutan, kay Rima Kunanan, kay Gina Sarmiento. Thank you so much sa inyong lahat. Kay Dave Velasquez Alfaro, kay Maria May Neri, kay Tin Belbes, kay Nage Diploma, kay Agnes Marasigan, kay Zo Goko. Thank you so much din dito sa followers natin. Kay Natasha Francis, among others uh, na nagbigyan na support. Thank you kay uh, Maylene Chino joining us from Japan yung mga friends natin joining us from Europe from, from across Asia and the world maraming salamat again I hope guys wag nyo yung misunderstand yung sinasabi natin dito this is just a nice constructive advice based on sa pag-intindi natin sa sitwasyon sa mga similar na bansa katulad natin so I hope Vice President Len former Vice President Lenny Robredo makes the best use of her time while she's in Harvard and meet other global leaders including from similar countries like us where the progressive are doing far better. I'm sure she can learn some very good lessons para sigurado yung na hindi permanent opposition among progressives and liberals dito. Otherwise, mahirap magkaroon ng demokrasya kung walang balanse. Yun lang naman yung sinasabi natin, right? So some proper reflection, etc. will really, really help. And so, hopefully, wala na mga Google Trends, Google Trends, at saka mga ganyang klase, mga data scientist experts anymore in the ranks of the opposition, etc. Or hindi sila mga magano. Okay, ayaw ka na. Mamaya tayo mag -away. All right. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, guys. Muchas gracias. Adios. Have a blessed weekend and have a blessed Sabbath day tomorrow. As you know, on Sundays, dapat wala tayong as much as possible. Any kind of political situation and all. It's time for family, spirituality, and self-reflection. And hopefully talk to you guys soon. All right. God bless. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat.